All right, Buttercloud's known for its biscuits. Yes. And before we get started here, we're doing a biscuit sandwich with local produce, but look at these biscuits. I mean, look at these biscuits. I was teasing her, they're on steroids. These are amazing biscuits. All right, let's get started. Ellen, what are we doing first here? Well, so at the bakery, we, we serve all of our sandwiches on biscuits. And um, during the summer, we've been doing um, a local sandwich every week featuring all local ingredients. And so this is just basically a take on something you could find at the bakery. Um, we're gonna use this beautiful um, patty pan and fresh summer squash that I've, got, I've already roasted. And as you can see, it's perfect biscuit size. Just a little salt and pepper and olive oil to roast that. Um, and then we have this amazing Mama Terra goat cheese that mm. I love to use, especially with squash. It's really a lovely cheese. And then I'm going to make um, a parsley pesto to go on. It's always good to have something that's kind of a, a moist like sauce type thing. And basil is a traditional uh, ingredient for pesto, obviously, but you can use any herb, cilantro, pesto, um, oregano, anything you want to really make a flavorful kind of uh, herb base. And so traditional pestos have pine nuts in them. They're just lightly browned. Mm -hmm. You don't want them um, raw because they don't really have much flavor raw, and you don't want them black because then they'll be bitter. So you want to put those in a food processor, um, and then I've chopped up a clove of garlic, and you want to kind of blend that. Um, and then, once you've got that nice and finely ground, um, I just go ahead and take my, my knife and where the stem meets the leaves, just sort of shave them off. Throw in that whole head of Italian flat leaf parsley. And then you want to puree down all that parsley. Okay. Let it go for a little bit. And then when you get to the point where it's pretty much all blended together, you can add salt and pepper to taste, however much you like. And then this time while the processor is running, I'm going to use this chute here to add olive oil. And for a head of parsley, I think about a quarter cup olive oil is a good amount. So turn that on and pour it in slowly and let it kind of come together. And there you have it. We've made our parsley pesto and now we're ready to make our sandwich. I'm going to start with a little bit of this goat cheese on the bottom. And then I'm going to take some of these squash, which have been roasted up. Oh my goodness. And then we'll spread a little bit of our parsley pesto. And there is oh your fresh biscuit sandwich. All right, I'm digging in here. Ellen cut this up for me because I have to appear to be dainty. <laughs> so uh, talk to me a little bit about, there's a lot of different biscuit sandwiches at your restaurant. Yeah, we do a couple different breakfast sandwiches. Um, the farmhouse is probably our most popular sandwich mm. of any, and that's just fried egg, bacon, tomato, and we do a basil aioli on that one. We've got a, a bunch Yum. of other lunch ones like pulled pork. We do one with beef brisket and some awesome smoky blue cheese from Rogue Creamery. Uh, we do biscuits and gravy on the weekends. Um, and a couple of their breakfast sandwich specials on the weekends too. And when can we stop by and eat? So Tuesday through Saturday we're open 7 to 3 and Sunday we're 8 to 2. Amazing. This is awesome. Thank you. Really good. The biscuit is out of this world. If you like what you've seen you want to head on down to Buttercloud Bakery. They're located in Medford. We've also put this episode at KTDL.com. Ellen, thank you so much. You're welcome.